Nick, what are you doing? Woo! Shut again, low, 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 <laughs> low, low, low. Shut again, them apple bottom jeans. Boots with the fur. I don't know why. Fur in the whole I don't know why I've never not checked her. the camera. Stop making that noise, please. And swinging the wire. Yeah, right there. Yeah. All right. Oh, a there's a good. bag in that. Chris, check if somebody. No. You don't open stray bags. That's Dude. rule number one. Yeah, but somebody's <laughs> rule number one to what, Nick? Just the somebody the bought something the road and they didn't book. take it though. All right, give me a, a free pickup. No. Yes, what if Nick. it's a gun? <gasps> empty bag. It's an empty Marshall's bag. <laughs> All right, hey everyone, welcome back to this week's Friday video. It's the Sternial Triplets. We're back in Boston. Oh. Ah! Feel how cold these little balls are. Okay. Can I feel the little balls? <laughs> yeah, I feel how oh, cold they are. Freezing. I want a paintball gun and I want to fill it with frozen paintballs and just pelt little kids. <laughs> okay, <paintballs>. dude. <laughs> pelt is such a funny word to me. Isn't a pelt also like a like a fur coat? That's a felt. No. Your mother. Nick, I'm gonna ask mom how she feels with you calling, like saying your mother in all the videos. Ask her. All right, guys, I'm gonna start the video with my first question. Wait, I love this, no Matt. Way. This is this is off the Don't chain. Don't make a big of you. deal. Don't make a big deal. Don't make a big deal. This is great, though. I'm off happy. the chain. What are you, Melanie Brown, <laughs> <and> the Spice <laughs> Girls? That was off the chain. <laughs> do you remember she used to host America's Got Talent? Yeah. I love Mel B. I do too. I'm a so big at, Mel at what point, were you like a Mel B what, kid or point, a Heidi Klum kind of kid? Mel B for sure, but at, yeah. what, at, but <laughs> yeah. at what? Not Heidi Klum? No. Love her okay, too. you can go. I know Love you're gonna ask. Too. When can I start my intro? Go for it. There's uh, there's no intro. It's just a question. Just fucking do it. Okay. Um. So I've lived in New England my whole life until just recently we moved to California like two years ago, right? Yeah. I still don't understand why we're shoveling snow before all of it hits the ground. That is true. Mm. You're gonna have more to shovel in an hour. Well, I don't, I don't understand. No, because if, if it's like, oh, we got six to eight inches of snow, why shovel two sets of three when you can go out no. and shovel six inches of snow? I just think overall we're doing it too early. Like that's, I think, I think that's what you just that's, said. Yeah, that's where. No, I think we need to go in the middle. Like I tell like, us more. Well, tell what, us more. I am, I am, <laughs> what, 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 saying, Nick? what Matt's saying is, the, like, you keep going. What is that beverage? Give me a sip. You want some? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a pineapple. What Matt's saying is he thinks all the snow should fall and then we shovel it. Can, can you stop fucking repeating people? <laughs> so like, say. hello, Matt is saying and he says what you said. We heard. Say, it. Move ahead, on. Say you have a you secondary thought. I think right when it's in the middle is when we go out to shovel. What's in the middle? Because that's what I was just, what I said. Should I shake this first? Like, no. Once we, <laughs> <laughs> no, you shouldn't. Okay, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> like what's in the middle to you? We'll throw out like four inches of snow. So what I just said we should Your mom! I literally raise your hand if people you actually give a fuck. <laughs> I don't. You did. You, you did. did. Don't. Yeah, you did. You did. What I'm saying is fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do the fucking jokes right. I feel like I'm at the eye doctor and they're checking my sight. C A N O N. Cannon. <laughs> He's reading the camera, Matt. No, like, I oh. literally feel like I'm at the eye doctor. I feel blind with one lens. Like, my eyes are watering. Right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's move on! Enough about the snow! Okay. I know you're happy. You have so much room back in there. I love this car. It's like there's just so much more space. <laughs> if someone came back here, they could comfortably sit next to me. Sure. Yeah. Or if someone came to attack us, I'd have so much wingspan to fight them off. <laughs> <laughs> Two very different things. Yeah. I wish that I was like a medieval, not medieval, I wish I was like an old timey detective. I had a fun little game that I made if you guys want to play it. I want to play more than I want to live. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll do anything. Um, I'll play. I'm not gonna... I hope that when that. I pass away one day, Oh, that Nick. Jeff Probst is at my funeral and he Can says the tribe has spoken. <laughs> oh Everyone God. walks out and he snuffs a torch while people are leaving my burial site. <laughs> That's my <laughs> ideal dream. I swear to God. If people are like, Nick Sturdyola would love this and I'm dead, it's like, you don't know what I would do and I'm not here to tell you. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> when I pass away, I want Jeff Probst there. Okay. Okay. We can organize it, hopefully. And do you want. Do you want him to say, like, he couldn't? The tribe has spoken. Okay. That's it. 
snuff my torch. Wait, he says nothing else. Matt? Have you seen a fucking <laughs> episode of Survivor? Yeah, do you want people to do the challenge first? No, the okay. tribe is spoken. Light my torch out. <laughs> okay. That's it. Send me off. I'm headed to Ponderosa. <laughs> Where is that? It's in Survivor. It's the house that the jury goes to to wait till the next week. <laughs> I didn't even know Give that. it a Google. Give it a Google. It's an accurate fact. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two-player game. Oh my god. A Ponderosa. private resort the show the show calls Ponderosa. Ponderosa. Thank you. Wow, Nick. <laughs> it's actually a <laughs> It's because of like the OG shit. seasons that used to show you what was happening at Ponderosa. Can you play can we play the game? Uh, you keep talking. You keep talking. <laughs> Give me your whatever you're eating. What is this? No, I don't really want these. I thought this would be jerky. <laughs> Give me it. I'll eat it. No! I just want to get an update of how you guys feel. I feel great. How awesome. Good. I don't want this. Fuck oh. ass candy. It's great. It's great. What okay. is it? Frosted flakes? It's they're great. If you were talking about it, you'd say it's great. They're great if you're like, whatever. Fuck off! Basically, I wrote down. No way. That's why I don't do it. No, wait. You, like, have a full game to play? Yes, Nick. Ah, I'm so excited. So, basically, I wrote down a bunch of things that kill a certain people mm -hmm. per year. What? Yeah. So, it's basically, like, hippos kill this many people a year. Sharks kill this many people a year. I'll okay. get them all right. I'm going to read two <laughs> of them. Mm. Mm. And you have to guess over under. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Sharks are at six. <gasps> yeah. Oh, my god. That's insane. Six people die in a shark's grow up, everyone. Get in the ocean. What? Like people are afraid, oh, I'm afraid there's a shark. That truck is doing a burnout over there. What a pussy. I hate loud cars. Oh my god, oh. I was just so ready to fucking drive away. You should have saw the fucking... Oh my god, there's nothing I hate more than people with, like, big engines in their car. <laughs> what, are you pimping out mommy's car? Because you're <laughs> finally old enough? Saved every penny you could to throw a muffler on that little thing? <laughs> yourself get out of here i don't care dude we see some interesting characters i just i hate it i hate loud car engines grow up you're not impressing a single fucking soul on earth i want to see if he does it again it embarrasses me how tough a folk may think they are by revving an engine in a car yeah it's so embarrassing go home feed your family feed yourself go eat there's always better things to do than fucking rev your engine get away go eat all right what about the dogs 30 to 50 people died. Ah! Next. Hey, yeah. Wow, Nick, that was good. You give me so, so, so. He's doing little donuts. Ooh, I'm the toughest motherfucker in the city. Oh my god, I'm really embarrassed. Yeah, this is so embarrassing. The oh no, I'm going to my car super fast. <laughs> I can't take you seriously with these glasses. I keep forgetting I have them on. This is so embarrassing. What if he's like trying to like impress his friend? Dude, if he's with a girl right now, I hope that she makes it home safe and never goes to hang out with this fucking idiot I again. Agree. Oh my god, um, okay, you're on a first date, right? Oh, brother. Don't even you're on a first date. Scenario. So, Nick, you get picked up on a date, and the guy has like a super cool truck. Dude, I already don't <laughs> give a fuck. You <laughs> okay, okay. up in Santa's sleigh. <laughs> you could tell me to take public transportation. You could pick me up in a Target cart. I'd be fine. I'd be happy with anything. Okay, so you get picked up in a nice big truck, a super cool truck, and he's like, he go, he goes into the parking lot. You guys are just talking, blah blah blah. You're having a good night. Date's going well, right? He says, "Hey, sugar lips, you like my big truck?" <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> Shh. You get. A, you're on timeout for the next minute. No words better leave that fucking trap of yours. <laughs> Seriously. No, Nick, he For goes... the next minute, if you speak, Nick, I'm punching you. Nick, he, he goes like this. He doesn't, he doesn't like, direct the fact that he's going to do All it. All right, sweet. Shut up! <laughs> no, you have, you're on timeout, for real. Nick, he just goes... I'm actually setting a timer. You shut the fuck up. Nick, he just goes like this. He just goes, watch this. Oh, man, watch man. this is brutal. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> Matt, can what? I tell you my actual thing? Yeah. I'm screaming bloody murder <laughs> as if this motherfucker is trying to kill me. Scrolling down the window, I'm going, LET ME OUT! LET ME OUT! That's, you asked. That's what I'm doing. If I'm in a car and the person's like, look at this, I'm going to rev my engine, drive you around like a fucking maniac, psychopath, and annoy the whole fucking neighborhood, and wake up Auntie Sue down the street that's just trying to go to bed because she has a fucking actual day job to hit tomorrow morning. You're, like, annoying the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm genuinely doing that. I'm screaming, let me out of this fuck-ass car. What if someone Bring me home. I'll walk.
I'll call the storks. Come pick me up. <laughs> Fly me home. What? I'll do anything to get out of it. I'll roll home. I'll somersault home. <laughs> Literally. Get me into a hill, I'll barrel roll down it. I'm not going home in your car. I'd rather literally step on glass and drag my feet home. <laughs> Actually, I'd rather step on glass and a, drag my feet all the way home. Visual. That is such a sick visual. Yeah. I don't care. I hate cars. I think we should take Nick to like a... What do you feel about like an organized racetrack though? That's pretty cool. It's more fun, sure. I just don't care. What about... You're moving a... You didn't invent the track. <laughs> There's people far cooler than you. You didn't invent the track. You didn't invent the fucking mobilier. <laughs> if you invented a race car and then you race around, sure. Props to you. Or if you're a professional and you're actually doing it in sport, you're awesome. But it's like, are you really do? Are you providing a good that no one else has done before? If you're, Nick, don't say all if, that. Is this guy doing <laughs> no. donuts in a parking lot at fucking twelve thirty at night? Is he providing a service that anybody has can't do? What I'm saying is, I think, is he Nick, serving shut good? Up. Pollution. I think organized driving is cool. Like organized sure. races. Sure. I think putting the city in an annoying, like whatever. At twelve thirty at night, go home, go to bed. Well, it's also dangerous, you know. Oh, in danger. He could die. He could tip over and die. Ladders or peanut allergies? Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot <laughs> to I'm like, what is... Is this a would-you-rather or a preference thing? <laughs> no, I think that it has to be ladders. Wait, Nick, answer it as a would-you-rather. Would you rather always have a ladder or a peanut allergies? Dude. Wait, like, you, everywhere you go, you have to carry a ladder around? Yeah. Or you just have peanut allergies? Dude! <laughs> Come on, a ladder is clearly more of an inconvenience. <laughs> Imagine going into a restaurant, it's like, oh, you, can you leave that outside? Now I have to bring my nine-foot ladder to dinner with me. Where are you leaving that thing? I'm in this car! Where, are the, where would it be? <laughs> it was on the Do you understand your limits right? if you have to carry a ladder yeah, around? Yeah, but then you can no, eat Nick, we never said it. I don't care. You never, never, you'd give up peanut butter. I don't, I'd give up I don't me, believe it. I'd give up Reese's. my favorite food. Reese's. I don't believe Reese's. it. Reese's Ca carry a, ca what? Carry around a ladder. All the time. Yeah. No one said how tall the ladder had to be. It could, it could be, be like, like a step stool. It could be like a oh, step stool. Oh, step stools can double as a little bag. Like they look no, like a little bag. I don't bag. care. No. no, I don't know. Think about like working. It's like you show up somewhere, you have like a ladder with you. This just seems like a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather have a peanut allergy. People can't see the peanut allergy inside, but they'll always be able to see the ladder. And that's deep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, but what's catching more bodies, the ladder or peanut butter? Peanut allergies. allergies. Matt? I have to say ladders because I feel like everybody that has a peanut allergy, they're just getting the EpiPen nowadays. Mm. I feel like it's really hard for it to like fully kill you. <laughs> peanut Shockingly, allergy. only 13 people died to a peanut allergy last year. Let's go. Well, I don't know if clapping's still appropriate. Yeah, that's just not a lot compared to ladders. It's, what is up with peanuts? That's How many ladders? 300. <gasps> Telling ya. Oh! Why did I get the chills? Yeah, falling off a ladder's rough. Yeah. Dude, falling to death. Anyways, Tom. dude, I remember when I was in carpentry. Imagine really falling fell off. to death. <gasps> That's so sad. Woo! I don't want to think of it. I falling fell to your off. death, plummeting. Nick, off a stop, dude, stop. Oh, crazy, just a slap on the. <laughs> <laughs> oh. get the... Yeah, insane. Anaphylactic shock isn't fun either, though. You I want to see this dude anymore. do another donut. Matt, you're no better oh, than anyone else. I no do. No, because it's funny. Five hundred. For Side which one? For motorcycle crashes. For motorcycles. <laughs> so higher or lower? Motorcycles. That makes more sense. You had it where it's like we were picked. Underrated word that sounds exactly like the experience. Barf. <laughs> like what? Like is the word saying? barf, I know what you're gonna do. Okay. That's actually my least favorite word. I think it's corny, I think it's goofy, I think there's so many alternatives that are way Just think like, of someone and they eat too much candy and then they like get off a ride and they're like, oh I'm gonna barf. <laughs> yeah. Like it fits perfect actually. <laughs> I'm okay. Cold. I'm cold. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> Nick! I wanna know. Skydiving's only 11 people. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't well, be Dude, we didn't even fucking play the over-under. Well, that was for motorcycles. We can do that now. Oh, oh, that's... Motorcycles. F 500. Over, over. Under. Over. A thousand. Under. Under. I'd hope it's over. A thousand five hundred. Oh my god. Thousand, that's so unfortunate. A thousand five hundred. Damn. Over under. I'm saying under for. Oh my god, that's not the answer. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Holy shit. Over under. Under. Over. Under. Over. Over. <gasps> Three thousand five hundred. Over under. Is that the I'm answer? I'm gonna just keep over, saying under. Under. Oh under. under. Oh my goodness. Over. Yeah. 
This is crushing. You're me. pulling my tail. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. You're tickling. Six thousand over under. <laughs> oh, Don't say oh, that, Chris. Um, over. <laughs> over. No fucking way. <laughs> Get off your motorcycle. In one year. Six thousand. A year. Yes. Six. Oh, obviously. <laughs> what? What? You think six thousand a day? I don't know. Six thousand eighty-four people died to a over? motorcycle. No. Wait, that, that, say it again. <laughs> Fuck this game. That's the number. Huh? That's the number. Again. 6,084. <laughs> Nick, you can't have us laughing. This is terrible. Guys. 6,084. My heart. <laughs> I agree. This shit hurts. Oh my god. I agree. I Google Put your that. helmets on. I well, Google that. Helmets aren't going to really do anything if you're going to die. I Google. No, that actually. Don't say that because helmets help a lot. See, I can't. I'm sorry. Is it really going to yes. prevent death? <laughs> yeah. If I'm falling Nick, off a motorcycle... Stop. No, I'm actually, seriously, no humor. Okay. If I'm flying off a motorcycle... No humor. Like and I have a, no, I'm not trying to be funny. <laughs> it's a serious conversation. If I'm on a motorcycle and I have and I, and I have a helmet on, it could and a crash yeah. that is going to kill me... Helmets could gonna? save lives, yes. Okay. Well, okay. Question. Sure. Well, did I ever tell you peanut allergies? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, six, six, thirteen. Oh, 13. 13, 13, 13, 13. Shout out to my brave peanut allergy survivors. I love you all. <laughs> hippos, <laughs> hippos are vending machines. Vending machines, I know this. They can just Wait, joke. It's like, obvious, like they get crushed because they go to like shake it and then it falls on. No them. fucking way! <laughs> <laughs> That's how they die. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was like loving their arm off and then they're like, I don't know. Dude, if I died to a vending machine, I'd be pissed. That's like an embarrassing one. I don't have Jeff Probst at my up. thing if I died. <laughs> yeah, we'll <laughs> tell him. Okay. Vending machine is 13. Dude! Compared yeah. to Hippo's 500. Hippo's... No! Yeah, hippos are killing people. I bet a hippo machine. just like... What if I'm getting that? super, super old and I'm just like... Why is he on his phone, Nick? I don't know. If I'm like... When the heavy machine falls over. Oh my god. It's gotta be little kids, right? Let it just jump on the top and all Oh, that's it. so sad. I know. I can't... Uh, dude, getting smushed is like... Smushed. Oh, I love that word. <laughs> You're fucked. Smush, smush, smush. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a terrible thing. <laughs> I'm the worst. Okay. No, when I'm like super, super old, if I'm like not remembering shit and I'm like gonna die, like, and I'm like super old, just let a hippo eat me. <laughs> I don't want a hippo to like... Fuck. That's kind of satisfying if a hippo is just like... Crunch. <laughs> You know? You're, you're, no, like, that's awful. You're sick in the head. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Okay, have you seen the videos of hippos eat watermelon or no? Yes, <laughs> I Don't have. say this. Okay. Okay. That's it. You just said don't say this, right? Uh, so coconuts or alligators? Please don't. Coconuts that fall off the tree. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like the cartoons. What? Does that actually happen in cartoons or is this make believe? Nick, people die to coconuts. No fucking way! That's why we're playing this game, Nick. I just can't get behind that. Coconut allergies are pretty severe, too, though. Imagine sitting under a coconut tree and then you just get There's thumped. no way! Boink. Thump. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what's the word I like? Smush. <laughs> awful, 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 awful. Alligators or coconuts? Alligators all day! Alligators has to be. Eight people die to alligators. No! A year. Don't Dude. tell me more than eight people are dying to a coconut falling on there. Do you want to guess coconuts or no? Thirteen. Is it, do coconut allergies count? No, Nick. Well, that's a pretty severe coconut. I would have said coconut. I mean allergies. I would have said coconut allergies, Nick. I'm talking about physical coconut. So you're telling me that if a person dies via a coconut anaphylactic shock, you cannot deem that person dead via coconut? It would be anaphylactic shock. Oh, you're right. So let's talk about the peanut butter deaths. That, that was peanut butter allergy. That's what I said. Oh, so I that's said. just wording. Whatever, y'all are Nick. Stop trying to. I think <laughs> so. They're dying. What are they getting? Like, what is there a slingshot? Stop! <laughs> what do I look like? <laughs> My God! I'm so what you, is Nick. happening? Is someone slingshotting a coconut Nick, in their face? They're sitting under the fucking tree. No! And <laughs> no! A coconut's not a no. Guess out of the tree. Guess how many people per year? It can't be more than by like a three. coconut. <laughs> yes. How many? Two. A, a fucking duh. <laughs> Those poor souls. How many people die getting struck by lightning? That's not on my statistic sheet. So Fuck! Search it up. All right, hold on. Coconuts. I love coconuts. Electricity or toasters? What does that mean? I keep forgetting your like previous question. What is electricity? Like, just like, yeah, like what? Like you're like rewiring something. Like, eh. Gotta be equal though. Like if you're dying via toaster, does that not count as Nick, electricity? I can't death? believe you said that because it's equal. Three hundred each. Twenty people each year died of lightning. 
That's crazy. <gasps> There's some cute stories about like, people get struck by lightning and like they're holding hands with like their love. And it like th there's like enough body that the electricity doesn't kill them. And if they weren't holding hands, they'd be dead. True thing. That's crazy, actually. Is Their that love not love is crazy? electric? So what is this? <laughs> we Can should you... all walk around holding hands just in case lightning strikes. I agree. And maybe skip. So I that agree. We, like, go faster. Even in the sun. You yeah. never know. Birds are accidentally poisoning yourself. Who gets killed? Don't more? even tell me this. I don't even want to know how many people accidentally poison themselves. See, I feel like I'm more of afraid of a bird attacking me. When you I don't said think it's gonna lethally kill when me. When you said accidentally poison themselves, in my mind, I didn't think like, like oh, accidentally putting like shit in their food or something. In my mind, I immediately went to like the a vial, like and a no, spine. Like, like the kings when they like put like the, the, the chalice, yeah, like the poisoned chalice across from them, and then like they like mix them. No, up. I would. That's I would, what I thought. Why? Like, someone accidentally we ingests need like to dumb, hold on. but I mean like bug poison or detergent. something. detergent. Something bad. Dude, okay. we need to bring back like fun fancy glasses. Like I want to see people drinking out of chalices more often. Right? <laughs> I'm why is this why are we exclusitizing chalices to the king? I'm with that. I don't know. Can you just tell me this one? I don't want to guess anymore. It's, it's me gotta sick. be people accidentally poisoning themselves. I don't care. Birds kill 75 to 100 people per year. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be pulling my tail. More than hippos. No, 500. 30. No, He no, said no, 500. No, no. Oh, it's 500. Thank you, fucking idiot. I need to it's know like the top killers are the big birds. like uh, Eagles. <gasps> no, ostrich, emu. <gasps> oh. Geese were on it. Oh, no. If you had, oh, my oh, God. Oh, I hate geese. Yeah. I wish I And then throw. accidental poison is 240 people wow. die to accidentally poisoning themselves per year. Wow. That makes sense. Sad, sad, sad. Yeah. This is a sad topic. Yeah, it was just a fun thing I saw on TikTok. These two guys did it in their podcast. It's like those two guys and they always like guess people. You know what I'm talking about? They do like 30 seconds to like guess a person. <laughs> <laughs> what, Nick? <laughs> I don't know. You're just rapidly speaking. I, I have like, it. No, they're actually really cool guys. We should like show their TikTok or something. Shout out to You inspired our car video. Thank you so much. I wish I was a fucking clown. I would not. I just want to be a clown. Nick, you're about to be so embarrassed. No! <laughs> the dude that was doing donuts in the truck over there. Ah! Oh, <laughs> fuck off! There's two, there's two other trucks that pulled up, and they're like sitting and talking about- Probably making out, grown men. <laughs> they're doing stupid shit. Go kiss. <laughs> okay, dude. I think just shit like that is gay. <laughs> Nick, what? Like to go support your, your bro doing donuts in the Target parking lot. Make out! <laughs> kiss each other! That's crazy. It's like a gay thing. That's crazy, <laughs> Like, I'm sorry. If I'm like, if I'm going out and like my bro is like doing donuts in a parking lot, let's make out. <laughs> let's make out. What are you talking? Like, about? it's just stupid. I feel like the cobra that could just sting my prey. Okay. A little weird, right? Little I don't weird. like the terms like predator and prey. Just say strong and weak. <laughs> That's wow. a little crazy. All right, yeah, baby. Happy Friday. We'll see you guys next week on Friday. Hey. I had fun tonight. Me on too. Friday. <laughs> That's crazy. We might be might. at six We're might. about to be at six mil, or we might. Oh, we might. I don't want to say thank you yet. We're definitely going to thank you guys in the next video we film for six mil. We can't do it now because we haven't done it yet, so we're not thankful yet because it doesn't happen. We have to say the thankfulness in our true fruition. Yeah, I need Let's to go. soak in the thankful so that when the moment comes, I explode. Yes, yeah. I just want to burst with thankful. <laughs> just want to blow up. Yeah, I just want to explode. Just blow up. Anyways, guys, that has been this week's Friday video. Go down there and subscribe. It's going to be that red box if you haven't subscribed yet. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss when we post a video because that would be so unfortunate. <laughs> you're missing out on like, the amazingness. And then, while you're down there, you're going to be so close to that like button. Like, subscribe, do everything that you need to do. And also save www.sternyellowclothing.com because right when we hit 6 million subscribers, thanks to you all, <laughs> we're going to be doing nice. a super special six mil video and we're going to be going live with our stern yellow clothing merch so it's going to be a blast and i'm so excited and i'm so thankful for you all we're going to thank you more for six million subscribers just because it hasn't happened yet and we're expecting it to be in next week's video but thank you all for watching ah! go ahead matt oh my god this kid's a sicko i can't